Podcasts are hot right now. How do I know? Well, you're listening to one right now, aren't you? But you might be wondering, how on earth do I get my voice out there and start my own podcast? It all seems so intimidating. Between hosting and platforms and monetization, it can get real complicated real quick. Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We started this podcast over two years ago, not knowing clue one on how to do it. So how'd we do it? We did it with Anchor. Anchor is the free podcast app with creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. And Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. So it can be heard on all the platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. And everybody likes money, right? Well, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So go right now, download the free Anchor app, or go to Anchor FM to get started. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your host, John Suter, Bart Moraz, and Brittany Blackman. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm located in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute episode 690. In today's episode, Winery uses Dogos for contentless delivery. We figured you guys could use a happy story for a change. Dogs have historically been trusted with important responsibilities. When you think of the large St. Bernard breed, you think of the little barrel they wear around their necks to bring brandy to people when they're cold. All right, so that story might be a bit of a myth, but it's no myth that dogs are actually pretty helpful critters, which is why it's no shock that they found a way for them to help out during the COVID-19 pandemic. Stonehouse Urban Winery in Hagerstown, Maryland has introduced its social distancing delivery solution. They've added a delivery dog named Soda Pup to its staff. Soda Pup is a 75-pound brindle boxer with all the breeding necessary for curbside service, plus horsey saddlebags and a vest with two pouches. But fear not, he doesn't work the streets alone. The winery puts someone on dog patrol who is in charge of letting pup-happy customers know to not give soda snacks other than ice cubes. Sorry, Soda. Lori Yata, Soda Pup's owner and co-owner of the winery, says that people call into the winery specifically to have the doggo deliver their wine. Before this all happened, we had so many customers who came to see Soda. They'd grab a glass of wine, sit on the floor with him. Some would take him outside. They love Soda Pup. Yada told the Herald Mail, being a small business, we are trying to keep ourselves afloat. So we decided to use a little bit of enticement to get people in. And while it's a huge success now, she had some rational concerns. I thought, please don't let a goose or something walk by or those wine bottles are gone, Yada said. But winos beware, the 11-year-old pooch only carries two bottles of wine at a time, which, on the bright side, means you'll see plenty of him. Good dog. <laughs> Good doggo. This dog picture cracks me up. Like, I mean, I cried when I put this in the dock the first time. I'm not <laughs> so even kidding. What she's looking at is a picture of the dog in front of the winery. It's a stone building, and the doggo is on the sidewalk. He's got these two saddle bags with <laughs> bottles of wine. But boxers always have this like weird look on them. You don't know if they're happy or sad. He's looking right at the camera like he's on so a mission. looking mean. He's looking mean, but, and it looks like he's an older dog, too. He's just looking right at the camera. He's like, I am here to deliver your wine. <laughs> he looks so menacing. <laughs> Right. It's so funny. It's, so it's funny. honestly so funny. Like if he came to my door with wine, I'd be like, oh my God, yes. That's Beat awesome. me up, dog. That's great. Uh, so there's other examples of this. In Colorado, a woman trained her golden retriever Sundance to deliver groceries to an elderly neighbor. And in Maine, a musher who one day hopes to train for the Iditarod is doing the same using her trusty team of sled dogs. They travel 50 to 75 miles per day to complete four to six orders. Pretty cool. That is cool. I never would have thought that dogs would be utilized so much. But I guess if we think about olden times when things were wild, dogs did stuff. That's right. I have my little Bichon Poodle. She has a little <laughs> thing. She has one of the barrels around her neck. It has coffee in it. And I ring my bell and she comes running with coffee in the morning. It's only good for, for doorbells. That's it. That's what she's good for. <laughs> Door, <laughs> that's, that's more the truth. It's when the doorbell rings, then I know my crap from Amazon is here. Don't hear that ringing so much anymore. <laughs> Nobody's going anywhere. Nobody's True. going anywhere. Speaking of, so, I put gas in my car like two months ago. I, oh, I, I know. Like, I know. I was like, should I wash my car? <laughs> like, what's the and the problem is like, there's, there's just the, the price of gas is so low, right? <laughs> yeah. That, well, uh, you know, it's the, the funny analogy somebody wrote. It was like, <laughs> gas is like $1.50 a gallon. Everyone's hair is long. It's like, it's the 70s all over again. Perfect. That's a bell. Okay. 
Uh, <laughs> so we're seeing other wine companies reach out and help. Victor New York-based Constellation Brands, one of the country's largest wine companies, kicked off its fundraising with a $2.5 million commitment with $1 million earmarked for the Restaurant Employee Relief Fund launched by the National Restaurant Association. And Ernest and Julio Gallo, makers of that fine jug wine that you drank in the woods as a teenager, is also spreading the love and announced a $300,000 pledge from its Barefoot brand. That's the choice of wine moms across the country. They have a $300,000 pledge from its Barefoot brand to the Children of Restaurant Employees, otherwise known as CORE, which is providing assistance to the families of food and drink pros who have been diagnosed with COVID-19. And finally, Santa Barbara winemaker Alicia Moore of Two Wolves, whose primary source of income has been selling 90 million records and touring under her stage name Pink, contracted the disease and recovered. That's Pink. Her real name is Alicia Moore, in case you passed over that and wasn't paying attention. She's now pledging $1 million to the Temple University Hospital Emergency Fund and Mayor's Fund for Los Angeles. Go Pink. I love her. <laughs> Go Pink. Well, come on. You got to love Pink. She's awesome. <laughs> She's an icon for sure. She's an icon, yes. I was waiting for you to chime in. All right. <laughs> Close a little sad time. Two weeks ago, Instacart saw a 25% increase at Leaving My Door Deliveries, a company spokeswoman said, but that number is higher now. Wine sales were up 66% and beer sales in a reversal of the usual recession consumption pattern lagged even though they rose 42%. Canned cocktails were up 93% for the week, while canned wines rose 95%. You know what? This actually saved the beer industry because beer sales were going down, 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 down because more people are drinking wine. The mm-hmm. youngins, the youngins are drinking their white claws and they're into their wine and they're into their cocktails. Beer, not so much. Craft beer, you know, while craft beer industry is still strong, it is not what it was three to four years ago. And some of the beer companies were kind of freaking out and they were all pivoting to seltzers. And now, guess what? Beer's back, baby. Beer's back. Beer's back. Beer's back. All right. You guys got anything else? Nope. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.